Agnes Okoche relies on electricity to run her bakery in Abuja. She employs five people and hopes to supply her bakery goods beyond Nigeria's federal capital territory. But the high cost of production because of a dependence on fuel generator has left a gaping hole in her bottom line. The small business owner, it has not really been easy. You know, the, fall, the electricity situation, have to buy fuel, you know, all the time, and you're not sure. So you really have to have a backup in case anything happens. And it has actually now affected the, the should I say, the increase of my cake orders, you know. Because sometimes, because, when you, because of the increase in the fuel situation, you have to increase the price of cakes. And customers don't, don't want to buy. Nigeria has been struggling through a power crisis for decades. According to the transmission company of Nigeria, only 4,000 megawatts of electricity powers a population of more than 150 million people. When President Buhari was sworn into office on May 29th, he announced a plan to overhaul the nation's power sector within his first 100 days in office. That promise has yielded an improvement in supply, rising from 4,000 to 4,800 megawatts of power distribution, a margin unrealized in the past. The focus of the government on this sector, I think we have done quite well. The availability of power has gone up. I won't say yes, a uh, country like Nigeria should have more power, but that see, building a power plant takes time, three, four years down the line. Over the years, an estimated $25 billion has been sunk into investments in the power sector, with minimal success in adequately meeting demand. A projection of 40,000 megawatts is needed to power the entire country. Some new private companies are taking steps to mitigate the lack of power generated in the country by offering cheaper alternative energy sources. There's no way we can guarantee that everybody's going to have power. It's going to have factories with electricity running. Every No, it's going to take time, 20 to 30 years for this to come, come through. So the only easy way that we can go now is to easy deployment with solar, renewable energy sources that we can catch most villages in Africa, individuals in Africa, uplift the standard of living of Africans. For businesses like Agnes's that struggle each day to stay afloat, it is turning into a race against time. If President Buhari can keep the lights on in Africa's most populous country, it would help fully unlock the economic potential of the continent's largest economy. Sophia Dengo, CCTV News, Abuja, Nigeria.